I'm here now is Republican Senator John Hoven from North Dakota. First, what do you think is going to happen now with the budget? What do you think happens tonight? Hey, Melissa, I think we're going to pass the budget. I mean, it's going well, and hopefully it won't be too late, but we're going to stick with it and get this budget passed, and we need to, uh, to set up tax relief and so that we can pass it with 51 votes. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be 51 votes? I mean, what do you think is, how do you think the whole thing is going to play out? What's your bet? We need to pass this budget so we can pass it with 51 votes. Now, we hope uh, Democrats will join with us, but obviously the concern would be if we don't get the budget passed, then you're at a 60 vote threshold. That makes it harder to get done, and we are bound and determined, as you know, to yeah. get tax relief. No, no, I, I, I certainly understand the rules of the game. I, I was more asking, do you think it's that close? I mean, where do you think you stand oh. on the tax position? Do you think that, do you feel like there's a good number of people? You think it's a one-vote type situation? What does it feel like? What's the buzz? Well, you said on the tax issue, do you mean on the budget? First, no, I, I mean on the tax issue. I mean, as you get there, as you guys oh. start to talk about where everybody goes, because the budget, I got to tell you, if you guys fail on the budget, people are going to freak out because all day long <laughs> they've been saying that's a foregone conclusion. So right. I'm speeding ahead to our, our pet issue here on Fox Business, which is taxes. I mean, this is the way pro-growth economics, we've got to unleash the economy, we've got to unleash businesses, we need to really grow. What, how is that battle in particular shaping up in your mind in terms of numbers? Melissa, I think it's going well. Uh, in terms of numbers, uh, I think we can get some of the Democrats to join us, but we don't know. Obviously, getting to 60 we think would be very difficult. We hope uh, that they'll get on with us, but we certainly believe that we're going to have uh, the 51 that we need, and we hope some Democrats will join us. Yeah. What do you think will change along the way? I mean, we've heard the broad strokes. We've heard about the corporate tax rate cut, which is essential. Mm -hmm. um, but what do you think? I mean, there are things that seem like they may be dangled out there as perhaps bargaining chips. I mean, the idea of getting rid of the deduction for state and local taxes is something that will drive, you know, all of those uh, representatives and senators in New York, California, the big places. That's right. going to be a tough sell to them. Do you think that is really in the final tax cut? I think it will be, but that doesn't mean there won't be modifications. For example, allowing property tax uh, deductions up to a certain amount. That might be, you know, a concession or part of getting to something that still works while still not allowing state and local tax uh, taxes to be deducted, but maybe exempting property taxes or allowing them to be deducted up to a certain amount. Those are the kind of things that may help. Uh, bring some Democrats on board, and obviously we'll, we'll look at those kinds of things. What, what's the biggest hurdle in what you've heard so far in the details? Well, we are very much focused on making sure this is a, a tax cut for the middle class, so that right. wage earn, and, and the other thing you said is very, very important, it's pro-growth. Remember, the benefit is not just from keeping more of your money after tax, it's that rising tide that lifts all boats, a growing uh, economy, more jobs that pushes wages and income higher, which have been stagnant. So it's a twofer, yeah. if you will. That's very important. Do you think the and our focus is on the middle class. Mm -hmm. That's something we've emphasized, but we have to make sure the job creators get relief, small businesses, so right. you get that income growth as well. Do you think the estate tax, I mean, does that become something that is a stumbling block? Do you end up having to give that away? I mean, they're really painting it as this is a tax break for billionaires as they try and pass along their money to, I mean, that's one of their main talking points on the left. Do you get rid of that part? You know, certainly there is pushback there. But remember that the death tax is, a, is taxing uh, wealth that has already been taxed once or twice already. So, again, going back to capital formation and job creation, we should eliminate the death tax. We're going to try to do that, but, yes, there is pushback on the other side. Yeah. No, I mean, you're preaching the choir on that one, but we certainly, we don't, we don't like taxes of any type here on this. All taxes. I've never met a tax I like. So, there you go. John Hoven, Senator, thank you for being on. We appreciate it. Thanks, Melissa.